Hi everybody, welcome back to Spruverse, my scale model universe, people of Earth, welcome to a brand new build. This week is a bit of a nostalgia trip for me because uh, we're going to tackle Mobius's uh, Batman. <clears throat> now, a lot of you have this kit, a lot of you have built this kit, but the reason why <clears throat> I want to tackle it now is because I came across these uh, incredible decals from Archer. Now, a lot of you might know who Archer is. For those of you who don't, they are a decal company that has an extraordinary bench, deep, deep bench of decals stretching for all kinds of different genres and, 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 and different things. And um, the one thing they do have are these eyeballs. Uh, th this is, this is um, human eyes. <clears throat> this is the packaging. Here are the here are the eyes themselves. Um, they come in different scales with the pupils, and uh, you know, not great on camera. I don't think. I don't know. But to the human, uh, to me here in the studio, they're exceptional, absolutely exceptional. And it, it, it's not just uh, it, it's not just human eye decals in different scales. They also do creatures and superheroes as well. So if you're someone like me who is a little scared of eyes and painting eyes because I'm just not skilled enough at it. I'm learning. But this, hopefully, will take your model to a whole nother level if you can't do eyes because, let's face it, this kit is all about those eyes. And the reason why I say that is because if you take a look uh, here at the face piece, this is how it comes in the kit on the tree, right? Here it is. Now you get a flesh wash over that, and uh, you know some shadows, and it look it it'll look pretty good. But check this out. You put this cowl over it, the, the the and look. All of a sudden, it becomes Adam West. Isn't that interesting? And I think the lips they got pretty good, and of course the cowl makes it quintessentially Adam West. And so all you're really going to see are those eyes, and that's what you're going to look for if you built this kit and someone's looking at it. They're going to look for those eyes, and if you don't know how to paint those eyes correctly you're going to be in a whole world of trouble because it just won't look good. So I thought to myself, let's build this kit for no other reason but to demonstrate whether or not these eye decals actually work. You'll be the judge, uh, but we'll put this kit together. We'll have a lot of fun doing it, and we'll see whether these eye decals actually work. I bought a bunch of them in different sizes and scales because I've got some, um, some dinosaurs and I've even got a King Kong uh, re resin uh, uh, kit I want to build. So I'm pretty excited to see if this works. Um, <laughs> for those of you who uh, haven't, ha haven't built this kit, it, it's relatively basic. Uh, but color is, color is important. So I've brought in a couple of co colors here that we're going to be working with. Um, obviously, just a, a, a good, good old-fashioned black. And, and then that's going to be for his uh, face cowl and for the bat wing itself and a couple of other minor details. So that's the black I'm using. Um, <clears throat> for his tunic, um, I'm using the light gray from, um, uh, it's called Curtis Gray, uh, 71296, right? US uh, AF, uh, AAF, light gray. But I'm going to be using that for his tunic. And then for his cowl um, and his pants and boots, uh, we've got the um, we've we've got a couple of blues I'm looking at here. One is the the steel blue, which I like an awful lot. I, li I like I, I like the color of it. Um, and then the other alternative, of course, is the royal blue. Now I think that uh, the steel blue is probably the way I'm going to go. Um, just because when I look at it, I think it looks correct. Um, it's got a little bit of that, that kind of um, f fleck in it. It's got a little sheen to it. So I, I think that's going to work really well for us. Um, I don't know if we'll be cutting it with a little bit of this or not, but those, those, are, your, those are your basic uh, colors for this kit. And you've got a couple of decals, which... Um, are in the box here. Um, <clears throat> oh, and they give you the rope, which is kind of the 
uh, but you've, you've got a couple of decals. Uh, curiously, they give you decals and then they give you stickers in case you want to go with stick. Please don't go with stickers, I beg you. Please don't ever do that. Uh, you'll just regret it. Um, but let's look at the decals here. So you've got um, <clears throat> you've got the belt buckle, and you've got obviously his uh, his chest uh, plate. Batman uh, insignia. There it is in all its splendor and glory. So those are our, our decals. So um, we're going to be fine there. Um, so what I've done to get started is, um, is I've, I've, I've started to build the leg uh, just to see how we do with seams. Here's my uh, effort so far. And uh, those seams are almost disappeared. I've um, I've done quite a bit of work on, on it, and I think it's going quite well. I put a little bit of Mr. Surface of 500 on the back here, and uh, I'm just letting that dry. And I put it on the back of the boat. But I think these come together quite well. Um, this is how they uh, give them to you in the box. And uh, so making sure that your, um, you know, your lug holes are nice and clean and that you are uh, able to snap fit these together quite well. That's, <clears throat> that's a big key here. And uh, so we've got, we've got the seams on these legs that we're dealing with. So that's what I'm working on now. But they come together quite well, as you can see. We've got big seams on the, uh, on the arms here. Um, here they are. Let's get them... Get them, uh, get them together here correctly. So that's one hand. <clears throat> so you can see I've got, I've got seams here that I'm going to be dealing with. This one is going to be a little trickier down here by this, uh, the flap of his glove, because uh, this whole thing is the glove. But uh, we'll get that done. So we've got some seams there, and of course here. We've got these body seams that we're going to have to deal with, and they're quite prominent. And uh, so that'll be all the way down here um, and down here. So that's what we're working on now. We're going to put all these seams, uh, get these seams together. The cape. Now, <clears throat> I've, I've had a couple of guys who have had problems with their cape. It's come a little warped. Uh, I checked out this one, and um, it sits absolutely beautifully. So we don't have any warpage issues uh, with this cape. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, the rock stand, you know, it kind of is what it is, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to look pretty good once we've got it all painted up and dry brushed. And then they do give you a Batman uh, logo for it. So all pretty basic, one would think, but a lot of fun because it, it, it really is about getting this painted up and uh, getting those seams taken care of. Once we've gotten those seams taken care of, then it's just about going to town on uh, uh, getting this thing painted. And then, of course, those those eyes, honey, those eyes. <laughs> That's where it's all going to live and learn, right? So anyway, here we go. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to continue to to work on these seams. I've got a 400 uh, grit sponge and an 800 grit uh, sponge and a couple of other things that I'm working on here. And um, <clears throat> what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to town on these seams. Um, <clears throat> and it's just a, you know, it's patience, really. It's just continuing to, uh, to work these seams until they disappear. Now, I'm using the Dupolo uh, filler primer, the gray. Um, to get out a lot of the scratches, and that's working quite well. But I think you'll agree, uh, just by a little uh, elbow grease here, um, we're doing really well. Uh, they're, they're really disappearing. I mean, this seam has all but disappeared. So that's going to really work well. And once we get a few coats of paint on that, you'll never see it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you do not need to sit here... <laughs> And watch me spend the next hour sanding. So I'm going to uh, uh, carry on here. And in the next segment, we will all be uh, put together 
and primed, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on. Progress. I love progress. <laughs> um, it's a fun little uh, kit to actually play with. It's, 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 it's quite, you know, uh, it's like a meditation to be able to uh, just work on seams. Um, so that, that's what I've been doing. Um, I put the kit together for the most part, primarily because I don't see any issues getting this painted, getting an airbrush in any of, in any of these places. Um, so I have put it together. I'm uh, pretty happy with uh, the way the seams have come out. Um, as you can see, they've pretty much disappeared and that's, that's good. Um, I didn't have any um, any major problems with it. Um, it's uh, come together quite nicely. As you can see right here, I'm putting a little bit of putty on these seams at the top. And as soon as that dries, I will, um, I'll get that all smoothed out and blended in. Um, and then uh, the next thing we can do is, um, is start to paint the elements. Uh, now, in a couple of videos that I've watched on this build, people have had issues with the cape, um, mainly that it just wasn't sitting nicely uh, on the uh, on the body. Uh, I've got no issues with my cape. It, it, it hangs beautifully. Um, and uh, so there you go. You can see, I'll put my finger on it here. You can see uh, that the cape is working quite nicely. Um, and there's the back of it. It hangs quite well. So with a little bit of blending and some shadows, we should be able to create a really nice effect. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. So that's looking good. Uh, let me talk to you a little bit about the real reason why we're here. <laughs> because uh, I, a lot of you are out there going, wow, this, is, this one's a, a, a real loser. Now, the, the, the don't do that. That's not cool because it, it isn't. And I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you why it isn't. Because um, what this was really about was, you know, the eyes. <laughs> Now, I know this seems like an awful lot to do just to, to make eyes, but if we can nail eyes, you're, gonna, you're just going to take your, your model building to a whole nother level. Now, there's a lot of you out there are going, yeah, you, knew, you, know, you need to know how to paint eyes properly and not cheat with decals. I don't consider it cheating. Do we consider it cheating when we put a decal on something to create the illusion of an engine part or something else? No. So why is it cheating to use decals for eyes? Skill level goes up when you learn how to paint. Absolutely. And I'm not questioning that. But I think for the, uh, the Media Oka Modelers Club, which I am a supreme member of, uh, this is really helpful for me right now. Now, behind the scenes, I continue to play and learn. But for models that I want to display, um, I, I, I want something to look really good. So I'm happy to, uh, to, to share with you these, these uh, Archer decals. Um, so that's what we've done. I've chosen uh, the decals that I want to use or the scale I want to use right here. Let me get that in my hand and get you on a close-up camera here. Here they are. And um, they are, uh, I think, correct for this face. So here's my face. Let me try to get you in, in focus because I know I've got... Let me move this out of the way so it's fighting a little bit. So there. And here's my, my eye. Right about there. So I, I, I think my scale, my scale is correct. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. So that's good. And um, this is obviously going to get a whole bunch of shadowing and washes and all kinds of stuff. But I think you'll agree um, if I put the cowl over this um, like so. The transformation is, uh, let me get you closer. The transformation is, ex is extraordinary. You, now you start to really see, you know, that it actually does look like Adam West and, and that's kind of fun. But we get those blue eyes popping through there um, and they've got a lovely 
iris effect in them and the pupil effect in them. And um, I think we're going to be in great shape. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And that's sort of the main reason why I wanted to do this build, to be honest with you. Um, and then, of course, um, you know, I'm doing a little bit of uh, seam work on the ear flaps. I want them to be part of the, uh, the cowl hood um, section and, and, and feel seamless. So uh, I've got a little bit of puttying and sanding to do there. So I will continue to do that. Uh, reminding everybody quickly of our paint choices. Um, I'm going with uh, the steel blue for the cape, for his, uh, his boots, his, um, his tunic top, and his, uh, his, I guess we'll call them his briefs, his brief, and of course his gloves. So they'll all use that color. And then uh, the only other color we're using is for his tunic, uh, his leggings and his, uh, his top. And I'm going with the light gray. Uh, now, I like this because it's got a, a warmer kind of um, creamy look to it. So I think it'll look really good. And then we're going to put a little bit of washing on this and, and we'll do some washes and just to kind of and, and blend it in. And then we'll hit it with a, a really nice... Um, uh, matte finish and then the cape we might do in a in a in a satin uh, just to pop it a little bit and, and and give it that kind of superhero uh feel that we're we're going for and uh we should be uh we should be in pretty 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 good shape so i'm 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 really happy with that so um what i'm going to do now is uh i'm going to continue to work on these seams just get that all blended um and then I, I, I think we'll, we'll go to town here and, and do a little airbrushing. Why not? I mean, we're going to, you know, this, this model is going to be built in one, one episode. So um, it, it really is, to me, it, it, it's getting all this together and putting it together and making it look great. But then slipping those, uh, we'll do it together. We'll slip those eyeball decals in and we'll follow the, the, the rules because there, there are some rules. Um, uh, which I think are actually very interesting. Um, so there's a, um, there's a template to use here. And um, what they want you to do is, is, I mean, they're helping you understand basically how, a, how an eye works, right? So when, when we sit this in here, uh, what's really interesting is you don't see the entire eye. Now, what's curious about that is, is on this model, uh, the eyes are... Um, are completely open. Um, <clears throat> there are no eyelashes. Uh, they, they, they're, they're quite open. Now, I believe we've al already um, got the eyeballs kind of corded the way they need to be. So um, our decal needs to be uh, big enough, and this one is, um, to, to actually sit in there. And then, um, of course, you weren't seeing anything, were you? So it'll sit in, in its hole like that. And we should be in pretty good shape. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out anyway. Um, it's a lot of, a lot of fun. So um, I will continue to blend. Um, and then um, we'll go to town. We'll get some painting done. And then, um, as I said, you know, we'll put these decals... Uh, on these eyes um, uh, on, on camera because th that, that's the whole reason for doing this. And we'll kind of follow the human eye rules uh, that are being given to us in, the, um, uh, in, in, the, in this pamphlet that comes with the Archer decals. Uh, because, I, uh, because I do think uh, it's, it's important uh, to kind of follow along. And curiously enough, you know, um, they, they, they do want you to trim a little bit of the top and the bottom of the eye so it's not, you know, completely, he doesn't look like he's, uh, you know, been on meth. <laughs> so we'll try to follow that. But anyway, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, but I just, um, I wanted to show you, we have put the kit together. Uh, these seams will dry and uh, we'll, we'll, start, we'll, we'll start to do some painting. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun, okay? So... Okay, work progresses, and um, 
I've been doing a lot of uh, appreciating and uh, just sort of base coating my uh, boots, my, um, what do you call this? I, I, I would just call it his uh, bikini bottoms. <laughs> I don't know what you call this. His briefs, let's call it his briefs and his gloves. And of course, we've been working on the cape. And uh, I've been using... Uh, I've been using a dark sea gray here for, sh for, for some pre-shadowing and then of course hitting this color and I like this color. I think this color is, is absolutely working. So I'm really happy with the, I'm really happy with that. Um, it got an, uh, I, I started to sort of lay it down last night and uh, it was getting late so I quit. Uh, but I knew that when I came back today with fresh eyes. Um, I was going to see places where I had obviously gotten a little too light, but um, obviously I'm trying to preserve as much of the the pre shading as I as I possibly can because it works uh, it works to the human eye, and um, I think uh, it's a really good it's a really good color. It feels like it feels like fabric. So, uh, butt cheeks need a little, little help, and um, between the legs, in the crotch, um, I'm a little light on the glove here. And that's good. Okay, let's look in. Okay, now my my tunic is obviously going to be this light gray, so it's going to probably require several coats just to kind of because this blue is in, it, this blue is really intense. I mean, it, it, it's a it's a great color, but uh, it's it's quite intense. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it's work. It works well. Okay. I'm, I'm good there. I'm gonna. I'm good there. So um, I'm gonna put this back on the stand now, just to to dry. Oh, I missed a bit right there. And then, of course, once this dries. Um, I'm going to go over it with one more wash, I think. Um, we'll, we'll obviously l lock it in first to make sure we, um, we're good and we're not, going to, we're not going to lose any of our color. We'll do that for sure. Um, and then uh, once we've locked in our color, I think we should be able to Should be able to call that quits. So let me just put it back on its stand here and give it a it's a good safe place for it to dry. I'm gonna look at the top of the cow here. Um, we've we've been hitting that. I do need to put a little more paint in the brush here. This steel blue, though, boy, am I happy with it. I think it's a great color. Um, I 
that's good and then we'll let that dry and then that can get a little wash too perhaps even a little black wash there's a there's a seam here in the back um, right there and that that seam um, should should get a wash so uh, we'll do we'll do that and then um, perhaps even in in the ears just to just to sort of punch it a little bit um, but I think that's good to go um, I do have to hit the belt in the rear with some white before I can make it yellow so that it's consistent with everything else uh, I'm noticing there's a couple of places here where I'm just gonna make sure that we're good. Let's see here. Just wanted to <laughs> make sure I was on a camera uh, that could actually see something. Yeah, let me put a little more light on the subject. Um, so I'm really happy with this. I mean, I think we we definitely want to uh, we definitely want to get a few more washes on this just to kind of punch it a little bit. But I would say that's looking really good. So I'm I'm super 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 happy with that. And it's a it's a it's a great color. I mean, if I if I get you close up on this, you can see that um, interesting enough the camera is picking up the shadows uh, but in in the natural light in me here in the studio um, it, it, it actually feels pretty soft you know like like we've got fabric on it so I'm really happy with that I'm gonna get myself let me just put this here so that I'm not gonna scratch anything okay so that's good um, I'm gonna quickly just rinse this out I have a tendency to forget that I've got paint in my brushes and this is one of those small builds where you know usually um, I would cut and say see you later and then behind the scenes clean a brush because God knows nobody needs to see me clean a brush but you'll be surprised how how many of us all forget that we've left paint in a brush <laughs> come on I know you have uh, unless I'm the only one. I'm copying to it. You guys should cop to it too. Um, it happens. But if you don't, you know, if you don't get this out of here, especially on a day like today here in Southern California where it is hot, hot, hot. And not only is it hot, but, you know, in the studio, no, I try to keep it pretty cool in here. But even though I try to keep it pretty cool in here, um, this paint, these acrylic paints, they'll, they'll go off pretty pretty fast pretty fast and this uh, this blue is quite intense I mean it uh, it's it's a great color but you know it tends to, uh, to stick to everything so anyway um, in case anybody's interested uh, I'm using the Awata Neo for this work it doesn't need anything more complicated than that I do have my micron though that I got for my birthday I'm pretty stoked about that here, I'll give you a quick, not that this has anything to do with airbrushes, but this is my Micron. Look at this pup. Look at this puppy. This is a beautiful brush. Um, comes with its own air gap, right? So moisture, moisture gap. So that's fantastic. Came with the, came with the unit. Super micro uh, fine nozzle here to adjust your air even more. Just a beautiful, and with this, it has the, the sort of the square micron uh, button uh, for air. Yeah, uh, just, a, just a gorgeous, just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece of equipment. So um, pretty excited about, you know, improving my detail work and knowing that I'm going to be able to get better and better with that. Okay, um, so now... Um, what I want to do now is, let me just slide this over here and talk about his face. So here's what I've done so far. Um, 
the cow is uh, drying again. I did put another. Uh, I did put another coat of uh, black paint on the cow. I noticed that it was just from from me handling it quite a bit. Uh, I noticed that it was um, starting to 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 get a little you know rough around the edges. So anyway, I've crisped that up. But now I am ready, 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 ready to. Um, to, to start working with these decals. And I want to do this on camera because th this is really uh, a big reason why we're actually doing doing this. Um, it's not because, <laughs> because this model. Now, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not ridiculing this kit. This is a fun kit. And there's several of them, as, as, as you guys know, uh, including Back, uh, Back Girl and Robin. So they're all there. And the base is all kind of cleverly connect together so you've got your superhero group together which is a lot of fun i'm not there yet in terms of wanting to go down that rabbit hole but i wanted to do this because i've got a couple of builds coming up that are not not just humans you know i've got um i, I i've got um dr jones uh, which is indiana's father uh, it's the horizon vinyl kit that I want to build. Eyes again, very important, right? Very important. There you go. And of course, I've got a couple of dinosaurs I want to do. I'm going to do a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I want to do that. Um, and I, I've got a, a, a Tom Tom um, with Han Solo on the back. That's from uh, Stan Art. And again, you know, reptile eyes. So if this works for me, that's the direction I'm going to be going in the next year. I, I still quietly uh, play with learning how to do eyes, uh, but I'm not there yet, which is why I wanted to go down this, the, uh, go down, you know, put this show together anyway, so we can, we can talk about whether these decals are worth it or not. You decide, uh, but I'm doing it and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, so what I want to do now is, is I want to hit this uh, with a uh, some varnish, some glass varnish, just to kind of lock it all in, and 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 give it uh, a little, uh, a diff slightly different texture. And then, of course, because we've got to put those decals in there, but I need it anyway. And then uh, we'll put those decals down, and then we'll do a little gloss over the lips and and the eyes, just to kind of uh, lock them in and give them some moisture. Uh, and then all I've got to do is the tunic, which I'm doing in the in the light gray. Um, you don't need to watch me paint uh, a tunic, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. It's really all about this, uh, so um, let, me, uh, let me get this squared away, and we'll come back, and uh, we'll, we'll, get the, uh, we'll get these eyes on, okay? So uh, my satin uh, coat of varnish over the face has had a chance to dry um, after reviewing the uh, instructions from Archer. Um, it's, it's worth noting that there's, it's sort of interesting because um, in this um, explanation guide, uh, they, they want you to cut uh, basically um, a little bit of the top of the, uh, the decal um, and, and just a little less at the bottom there so that you know you're not getting a uh, hundred percent of the eye of, of the eyeball uh, inside of this now here is our face and so uh, in essence what they're asking us to do is to cut the very top here um, however curiously um, and it is it is curious because um, this is one of those unique situations where, let me pull this out because I think it's dry, so we're, we're okay. Um, curiously here, this is what we're dealing with. So what we're dealing with is, is here's the cow uh, mask and here's the face. So, so when you put the mask over it, now uh, bear in mind, I've not put my eyebrows on here uh, yet. And when you look at this, you are, are seeing a lot of the eye. So we do have to follow that standard. I think curiously, even though 
uh, we've got shadow. We've got quite a bit of shadow from the from the black mask. Um, I, I, I do think I, I do think we've got to do a little trimmage. We don't have a lot to deal with here. I mean, we don't have a lot of real estate here. Here in my eyes that I've chosen. Here they are. And uh, they've got pupils and a little glint in one side. Uh, very difficult for you to see that, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to trust me on this one. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I think what we'll do is uh, let's try and apply one of these. Now I've got a, I'm gonna cut these in half, and bear in mind that the carrier film is everywhere on here, right? These are not individual pieces. Carrier film is everywhere. So I'm going to have to do a little trimmage here. Otherwise, we've just got a world of carrier film everywhere. But so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to see, figure out where my light's coming from. And that would be there. So that's how we'll position it. And what I'm going to do, this is going to be impossible for you to see, I think, but I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to say that's the top of the eye. So I'm going to cut that like that. And I'm going to, oh, I think that's good. I may have gotten a little carried away there. I'm not sure. I think I'm okay. And then the bottom, I'm just going to go straight across and I'm going to just give myself a little bit there. Now I am using quite a sharp pair of tweezers. I'm going to get this, get it in the water, submerged, and I'm putting that on my paper. Of course, it doesn't want to come off. There. Now, I don't think we need to have this on here very long. I'm going to set this aside here. I'm going to bring in my face. And I'm going to see here which side is which. That's the top, that's the bottom. Okay. I'm seeing the top. And I'm gonna put my eye get a little bit of water here just to try and hopefully I won't yep I knew that was going to happen it was going to sort of going to pick itself up Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of, just a little bit of, um, of my soul, microsole on there. I actually set, I think I should put probably a little set on there. Uh, yeah, let me put a little set on there. And, uh, I don't want it to wash away, but I do want to okay. put the lid on here. 
I swear every time I use this, I can't help by thinking, am I just buying a bottle of vinegar? Because <laughs> that's what it smells like to me. You sure it's not just a bottle of vinegar? Now I can see here that um, that's looking pretty good. That's one eye. Let me get rid of this because I think it's struggling to, to focus. There we go. Now it's looking a little androidy at the moment. Don't panic. Don't panic. We're going to do the other one right now. And uh, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to... I'm going to trim this one. Like that. And that's my top. And there. Like that. I'll leave myself just a little bit in that corner. Which, okay, so that's out and on the towel. And, um, yeah, um, curiously, I don't want to, but I'm, it's going to work. I'm, 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 uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Now I've got a little more painting I'm going to do just to shadow in the top, just to get a little, cause he doesn't have eyebrows yet. So I'm going to give him some eyebrows and that will create a shadow. Um, I've put, um, and then I'll put a little bit of red, you know, the rose red just in the corner, you know, like a, just a little, that, that little red, uh, sort of, uh, glint we have in the corner of our eyes where uh, the tear duct uh, the, the tear ducts are I'll put that in um, and then we should be in pretty good shape so let's get this last eyeball in because it's all about the eyeballs today right I uh, I know that sounds goofy but sometimes you know let's see here whoa this is very, very, okay. Let me get this down. Of course, because, you know, whenever you want to do something on camera, you always have the pleasure of, um, get my I have to always learn to get my fat head out of the way so now we're not looking uh, okay I have to say, I have to say that I am feeling really good about this. Now don't forget, once we get all the painting done, once we get all the painting done and we've put a mat back on this to, to, to tone this down, um, I think we're going to be in great shape. So that's what we've got right now. So we've got a satin varnish overlay, right? Just to lock in the paint. We painted the white to the eyes. We've put in the pupils and they are appropriately correct in terms of size. Um, they're looking directly at us and I feel really good about that. And they're sitting on the eyeball. So what I'm going to do now 
is let this dry. Let's let this dry and um, settle down. But wow, I'm pretty excited about that. I, I, uh, I know, you know, <laughs> I think that so, sometimes you, we can go to all this trouble to, 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 to do all of this work and perhaps we can get our shading right and we can get all kinds of different color variations right and blend it right. But when it comes to an eye, you know, I've tried toothpicks, baby brushes. I mean, look, I've even got these kinds of brushes, right? This is a company from China who, you know, uh, their marketing department, I don't know if it's the strongest there is in the world, but the English translation of what this brush is called um, could offend people. So um, I get why they called it that in a weird, funky way. I understand what they're trying to do, but bless their hearts. <laughs> I think they could have figured out to call it something else. I don't know. I certainly would have, wouldn't have called it that, but that's just me. Now, I've also got um, this this which i wanted to show you which i'm gonna uh put on um i like this stuff um some people might not but it's called accent color and it's a flesh color right um now um in smaller smaller figures if you're not a, a great if you're not super talented at faces this can save you it really, really gets into the cracks and adds uh, a, a little shadowing. I really like it. So um, I'm going to put a little on uh, Adam and uh, we'll continue. And, you know, it's kind of funky as I'm sitting here. I'm remembering uh, that years ago when I lived in Woodland Hills, California, I used to frequent a sushi bar uh, on Ventura Boulevard in Woodland Hills. And always sitting at the bar next to me was Adam West. Uh, he, he, I don't know whether he was there with his son or someone else. I can't recall who he was with, but what a gentleman. Just delightful, you know, so lovely to speak to. He had that beautiful, booming voice, uh, uh, just a gentle soul. And um, it was fun when my son and I would uh, sit there and have sushi with Batman. <laughs> And I never forgot that. And of course, in later years, when I had the, the opportunity to produce Jay Leno's Garage, um, I got an opportunity to meet him and we put him in the Batmobile. And uh, that was just adorable. I have a photo of that on my Instagram account, uh, Spruvos. You can go check it out. Great fun. Anyway, uh, we're going to let the eyes dry. I'm going to continue working on the tunic to get that all dialed in. Um, and then um, we'll do a little more work on this face because it really is all, all about these eyes. And then we'll put this whole thing together and you be the judge of whether or not we got something worthy of um, uh, displaying uh, proudly um, and, and just using uh, eyeball decals. One of the things that I set out to do in this build was to demonstrate these Archer eyeballs and I'm very impressed with them. I think that uh, as you, uh, like me, struggle to figure out faces in eyes and shadow, and it's a constant learning thing for me, I wanted some help in that department because sometimes y you just don't want to, you don't want to get frustrated. You work awfully hard on a build and uh, to, to have it look at you <laughs> Like it was painted by, I don't know. I don't want to be rude, and 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 I'm sure uh, I'm sure all of you uh, have suffered from this. Uh, some of you don't, um, but but some of you may have. Great kit from Mobius in one eighth scale. Um, there's uh, obviously Catwoman is available, um, and the great Julie Newmar. And uh, they all connect uh, from base to base, so you can build them out. Robin, I think, is also available, as is, uh, I believe, uh, the Riddler. But anyway, uh, great fun. 
I um, really wanted to put one of these together. I wanted to have one of these in my collection. Uh, but we're all here for one big, big reveal, right? And that is to see whether or not we can buy into that. And I think you will agree the answer is we certainly can. Uh, and I'm even going to put this, uh, let, me, let me now get onto the uh, close-up camera here. Uh, camera, th so because I, wanna, I do want to show you a different angle before we say goodbye, and that would be this one. And focus, 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 come on. There. Great fun. He looks great. I'm thoroughly, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with him. And um, he's going to look awesome in my collection. Uh, it works. Uh, I'm very proud of him. So I hope you try uh, some Archer eyeballs, not only for humans, but also for reptiles and superheroes. Uh, they uh, don't sponsor me, and I, I, I pay for everything that I uh, talk about here on the channel. Um, and if it is sponsored, I would let you know. But uh, no, I'm not shilling here. I'm just saying, get some for your collection. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Um, she's a lot of fun, this one. I should say he, the great Adam West. Um, they come together really well, and they're a lot of fun. And I think I captured him quite well. So uh, there you go. That is my uh, attempt at creating Adam West's face. Uh, with with eyeballs from our Archer decals. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this build and got something out of it. Uh, let me know what you think about these Mobius kits and, and my, my eyeball solution. Anyway, guys uh, and everyone out there in uh, Spruverse universe, I wish all of you, as always, please be well, be safe, build something, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.